So where are we now? With the dents. Is that what's called? Dull. What's it called? It's French, eh? Yeah. Dull. Don't. Yeah, you're the one who speaks the French. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> they don't. Oi, 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 oi. If you like racism, get rid of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's yeah. back at the uh, castle there. I can, I can hear. You can hear. Can you Paul's quite, quite getting ready to do the second dive, then we're going to go in straight after him. We may see him down there. This dive site consists of a large reef with loads of small sandy covered gullies to swim down. This little starfish has got quite a peculiar name, it's called a Bloody Henry Starfish. These two sea urchins are common sea urchins. Here we have loads of red sea fingers. These grey lumps are called elephant hide or ear sponges. Here we have a common sea urchin. This one's very, very purpley, almost lilac colour. So many red sea fingers. Thank you. 
Phil here has found a crayfish or a crawfish or spiny lobster or rock lobster. It goes by many names. The difference between them and their cousins is they don't have any pincers. They grow up to around 600 millimeters long and they're found in shallow waters down to around 70 meters. As you can see this one is an orange, slightly golden colour with really long antennae. This starfish is a soapy starfish or a red sea star. This is one of the issues with losing fishing gear. They carry on catching, commonly known as ghost fishing. These are two male spider crabs, found mostly in European waters, especially the Mediterranean and some parts of the Atlantic. take a look at the visibility around here it's got to be at least 20 meters what really helps is the soft white sand reflecting some of the sunlight back up It's very hard to tell what type of sandal these are because they're not close enough to work it out but I'm guessing they're probably the lesser sandal due to their size. They can grow up to about 8 inches and they shoal in huge numbers. It looks like I've been accepted into their shoal because now as I swim they are following me. As I leave the comfort of the sand, they turn back and head away. I only have four minutes bottom time left before I go into deco, so the plan is to get higher on the reef so we can still have a look and enjoy our dive. It's great being able to swim up through these narrow gullies uh, with the seaweed flapping over the top of you. You feel as if you're more of a fish than a diver.
that's better. I've gained another 10 minutes on my no decompression limit now. I can stay at this depth for a little bit longer. albeit at a bit of a smaller scale, it feels like we're flying through the Grand Canyon. It's time now to send up our delayed SMB, so this lets the boat know exactly where we are while we come up slowly. Just as we're about to leave, Jen and Phil point something out to me. It's a large lobster that's come out from its burrow. His antennae are tapping on the front of my camera, trying to taste me, see what I am. Looks like Phil and Jen have got a female cuckoo wrasse they're trying to feed. So on our way up, when we hit 5 meters, we wait for 3 minutes just to do a safety stop. This helps some of the bubbles get released from our bloodstream and prevent us from possibly getting a bend. So that was amazing dive. So much live. Eh? So much live. All oh, the gullies, there's open patches, we've seen crayfish, we've seen lobsters, we've seen all sorts of different starfish. Sponges. Yeah. That was nice. And you see the big blue sea urchin. I've never seen a blue sea urchin like that before. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's nice. Lovely dive. Why would you go to Egypt when you got that on your doorstep? You're only going for the sun. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely awesome. Yeah. I just like the big gullies. Yeah. I know. It's something to see. And as you're coming up, you're doing your deco or your, well, not so much deco, but your safety stop. You still got stuff to look at. Yeah, exactly. Rest. And that's the beauty of SAR, unspoiled SAR. Very strict on their fishing, you're not allowed to take anything. You're not allowed to scallop unless you've got a uh, special permit or a license. And then nothing gets trawled up here. 
it's actually surprised me seeing them two crab pots on the bottom there, which Phil done a release. I'm getting ready for our next dive. I think our next dive is going to be down over there. What? <laughs>